Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Goal Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte and we have to take a look today at the Vegas Golden Knights. And the Vegas Golden Knights, based off of the title, the thumbnail, Stone Cold. So we'll be taking a look at that today. There's a lot of rumors around potential trades in Vegas, what they did with the LTIR, similar to what we saw last season. So we'll be looking at that. So as Jack Eichel nears his debut with the Golden Knights, it's probably sooner rather than later at this point, Jack Eichel will make his debut in Vegas. The problem is they don't necessarily have the cap space uh, to get him in. So what do they do? Well, apparently Mark Stone's been dealing with some nagging injuries and is going to go on long-term injured reserve. Now what that means is his salary cap does not count for the rest of the season. As long as he doesn't play the rest of the regular season, his cap hit will not count for the team. So he could play in the playoffs. He could play game one of the Stanley Cup playoffs like someone else that we saw last season uh, by the name of Nikita Kucherov in Tampa, right? Well, Jack Eichel will make his debut. He'll play the rest of this season. And Mark Stone will come in in the playoffs. And then Vegas can figure out what they have to do in the summer. Now, obviously, the Golden Knights had some sort of plan with what they were going to do upon Jack Eichel's return. And that's really the key to this. Once it's Jack Eichel has to be in the lineup, right? But they're already planning. I'm sure they planned it before he was traded in how they would get their how they would do this. Now, it's been very under the rug, under the cover. They don't want to talk about this too much because there's a little bit of funny business going on here with the Golden Knights. But there's been talk. Uh, with Jack Eichel on the verge of returning, the Golden Knights are going to need to free up cap space. And according to Owen Kreps of Hockey Na ha Vegas Hockey Now, this could result in them trading away Alec Martinez. So the Golden Knights recently committed themselves to Braden McNabb. He signed a three-year contract. We made that video a couple weeks ago. They signed him to a three-year deal, $2.85 million per season. Uh, Krebs also noted that other defensemen like Zach Whitecloud was also extended. Petrangelo, Shea Theodore, they can't be traded either. They have modified no trade clauses. Uh, with that, Ben Houghton and Nick Haig make less money than Martinez, so it doesn't make sense for them to move him. But Martinez just signed a three-year, $15 million contract with the Golden Knights last offseason. Since then, he has been limited to 11 games in Vegas, as he is currently sidelined with a facial laceration. He is expected to return shortly, but he will come off of the long-term injured reserve, or the LTIR. Krebs also put up an argument that the Golden Knights have been successful without Martinez in the lineup. Again, first in the Pacific Division. Whether it's Martinez or another player, the Golden Knights are going to need to free up a chunk of cap space. Other potential guys that could be on the move for Vegas include long-tenured Ryan uh, Riley Smith, uh, newer additions like Evgeny Dadanov, and as well as Matthias Janmark. So the Golden Knights here, in order to bring in Jack Eichel... It sounds like they have put Mark Stone on long-term injured reserve. Is that enough for the Golden Knights to get this done? And I think that's what they're going to do. So that is the updated thing. Because at the time, it was some talk. Maybe they throw Stone on LTIR. Maybe not. Maybe they do. Maybe not. Well, it has been confirmed. He is on long-term injured reserve. His salary will not count against the team. So that is um, definitely a little bit of a addition there. And Jack Eichel will make his Vegas Golden Knights debut on Wednesday against the Avs. In other news, Mark Stone has been placed on the team's long-term injured reserve. So that seems to be the fix for the Golden Knights. And the thing is, teams don't they now know we don't have leverage because what they could say is hey we're trying to trade riley smith or this guy or that guy to free up cap space and teams are going to know they're going to say listen we know what you're doing you're trying to move this guy so you could have jack eichel now you're gonna you're it's gonna cost you something right you're not gonna get this you know you're not gonna get a lot for him if you're just trying to move his contract out now they don't they can't say that because jack eichel will be playing with the golden knights and there's not much they can do and if you want to make the trade, do you want Riley Smith? Yeah, he, yeah, we're freeing up cap space, but it doesn't matter anyway because, well, he's already playing in the lineup now. So that is definitely going to be interesting as we get closer to the deadline. We know teams like the Arizona Coyotes love to take dead cap. So do they take an Alec Martinez? But if the Coyotes say, yeah, we'll take Martinez and a first-round pick, 
Now does that change the, the conversation? That is the kind of stuff Vegas will have to look at. Is Vegas going to look at this deadline and say, we add, right, with our first round pick, we trade the first round pick for so player, or do we trade our first round pick and dead cap out so we free up cap space going into the future next summer? So that is kind of the predicament George McPhee and the Golden Knights will be in. I think they like their goaltending. You got Laurent Brossois with Robin Leonard. You have your group. You got your guys. I think the Golden Knights are pretty much set. Like I said, if they decide to make a move like that, trading out Martinez, I think that would be more of a summer decision. And that way they're paying Brady McNabb for that same role on a cheaper deal than, say, a guy like Alec Martinez. So guys, let me know what you think. What do you think of the Golden Knights and how do you think they're going to finagle this one? I think they're just going to stick with status quo, stick with how it is. If this is going to work, they're going to do it. So exciting for Jack Eichel. He will make his Vegas Golden Knights debut against the Avalanche. So that is some good stuff. So guys, as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next time.